Thank you, Chairman. Well, it's my great pleasure to be here, and thank the organizer for the kind of invitation. Well, I'm sure, and also thank you for staying here the late of the day. I'm sure you are looking forward to the barbecue dinner tonight, but uh, I need to do my job. So hopefully, after the job, you can eat more during the dinner. Anyway, this is uh, some, I'm, I'm sorry that my talk is not related to this young male's gauge theory, but it's kind of related to mean field theory for, for the so called cold atoms. Well, this part of work related to Professor Young's work when he after came back to Tsinghua, as Professor Ma showed this morning, some kind of cold atoms condensation stuff. So John worked with Yong Yong Tsai, who is a part at Purdue, and uh, Martin Rosenkrantz, uh, a PhD from Oxford, a professor here, and Ben Abdullah from France, and Zhen Lei from Fudan, and uh, Professor Han Quan Wang. A brief outline. I'll begin some kind of so-called motivation, show what the bipolar, both ion condensation or BEC in short. And it's a similar model. And also, also here, there are two fundamental questions. One is ground state. Another is called dynamics. Well, here also, there are some kind of so different reduction problem. One is from n-body particle, how to reduce to three-dimensional three uh, nonlinear kind of one body problem with linearity. Also, from, if, from three dimension, if the, if the trapping potential is so the anisotropic, so some strong confinement in one direction, you end up either two dimension or one dimension problem models, which is much simpler to analysis and also computation. We know this kind of digital quantum gas is kind of kind of a, a core, one of the core problems in so-called uh, uh, atomic molecule and optical physics, or AMO communities, where well, they can trace back to early time, like uh, liquid helium-3, liquid helium-4, and also from like 1995, was first uh, boson condensation experiment was realized, was realized is a bo boson condensation, like a first for bosons using rubinium, later formins, and also Com one component, two components, also spin one, spin no system, and also both Fermi mixture, and recently also some kind of long range dipolar system. And they show some kind of typical problems, like they are also like low temperature, micro Kelvin, or ultra cold nano Kelvin temperature. And they are realized undergo so called quantum phase transition, and also then, and, and they, they, they share some kind of closely related to nonlinear wave in you know, like optics, optics. And also they relate to superfluids. This kind of fluids like flow, they flow without friction. And uh, a typical signature is they support quantized vortices like, uh, in superconductivity, superconductor, and also recent people use it to study cosmology. Okay, so as I said, first, the first experiment in BEC, well, using the alkali atoms, they are using rubinium. Later, the people study forming condensation. I think around, since like 10 years ago, they, they realized this kind of so dipolar quantum gas. Basically, what they do is for some molecule and either exter external magnetic or ex so the electrical so the field. So two molecules, they form a dipole, like a polymer. They have a direction, like a, they have some like a polymer, they have a direction, positive and negative direction. Then there are a bunch of this kind of dipole, and they're cooling down at a low temperature, like a very low temperature. They, they basically, and they also hold in a magnetic trap. They, 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 they experimented around 1905, oh, sorry, 2005, they realized this kind of so called dipolar condensate, or they call dipolar quantum gas. Because there is a low temperature and low density. And using chromium-52. And it was the first experiment in, in Germany, you know, Stuttgart. And after this one, people study a lot of the theoretical study on this kind of so-called dipolar quantum gas or condensate. Well, I think in four years ago, in Stanford, they also realized using this, this, this atom to realize much, much. So this one, because in my first experiment, the, the dipole interaction is very weak. 
So the, the latest one, this one, the type interaction is much, much stronger. And it's basically, the type interaction is the same order of the contact interaction. So they have this one. Well, to study this kind of model, this problem, well, physics cooks this kind of so the mathematical model. It's kind of so called a, a nonlinear Schrodinger equation with cubic local interaction and also a non-local interaction. Or they call, also call it as a gross Pedersky equation. Well, here I show it's a rescaled for three in three dimensions. This one, this model can be formally derived from n-body linear Schrodinger equation for this n dipoles by using the mean field theory formally. And uh, suppose the n body they have sort of a local interaction and they go to the forming interaction kernel and also long range dipole dipole interaction. So here, psi is a complex value wave function for more basically for the whole condensate. And the potential V is chosen as a harmonic potential with this gamma x, gamma, gamma z are constants, the, the frequency rate in different directions. And here, a constant beta is kind of so called a so called a short range interaction constant. Here, n is the number of particles in the system. And this lambda is so called the long range interaction constant. With this u dipole, is defined as long range dipole dipole interaction, which defined this one here. This n is a given unit vector in R3, for example, 0, 0, 1, or 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. For example, this n here, this n is a so-called a, a, a fixed unit vector in R3. Okay, this model. Because if lambda equals zero, this is used as a model, so the boson condensation, something like that. But uh, here, if a dipole, then it's kind of this kind of a long range interaction. So here this convolution. So this kind of equation is kind of a differential, you know, integral equations for this kind of problem. They're from like a, a lot of physical references here. Well, for this one, and it's a problem so that conserve the total mass and also the energy, kinetic, potential, inter local interaction, and a long range dipole dipole interaction. And here, the one key problem is how to, you know, that this long range, this dipole dipole interaction, U. You can see here, this U dipole, because if X, the remember this N is given, so if, x near origin. So this u dipole at x equals zero is roughly the bigger O one over epsilon x to the power three, which is highly, highly singular. We know the cooling direction at the origin is one over epsilon of x in R3. So question for them, this convolution is mathematically well defined or not, right? So basically, the the, the long range kernel is highly singular at the origin, like this one, and it's a free transform. You can see this is U dipole height, can see the symbol equals this minus one plus this one. This symbol you can see is three n dot c square over c square. This guy, when the symbol can say go to zero, this is a zero over zero type, no limit. We do computation or do analysis, this U dipole height can see when it to zero, which value do you choose? All right, some kind of due to this highly singular. But uh, mathematically, this convolution is well defined. I show you here. I show you here. I show you one technique. You can say if we define r equal epsilon of x, dn where n is a unit vector in R three. So dn you can think as a directional derivative, and dn equals this one. Then this u dipole can be decomposed to minus Dirac function. Minus three d n n one over four pi r r is this one in r three, so this which get this free transform this one your dipole height is very simple from this one. In fact, this dipole this, this model is also related to this what they call Rosen wake instability for the so ferry fluids. And with this one, you plug this decomposition into this this convolution, you end up this u type convolution. This one can be decomposed a local contact interaction minus three d n n phi. We know phi is one over four pi r comma precise square, which shows this phi is nothing but a, a Poisson equation in R3. So you, you, you plug this one back into the original equation, you end up with a new formulation, is a gross place Poisson type equation. 
With this one, you know, the energy function is defined this way. This is well defined. If it's given psi, then this Poisson function is, you know, this little phi is well defined. Then all this one well defined, right? So basically, you, we know the same problem. You use two different formulations. They are equivalent. But uh, the, well, we do computational analysis. If you choose a good formulation, it will save your job. You can get a better insight. OK, then you know, the experiment that observe is low temperature. Well, it's the ground state. This is the, all the dipole, the state, so the quantum kind of ground state, minimum state. The definition is but you, you, you minimize the energy functional for all phi in a unit sphere. So this is L2 norm, the mass conservation. Which it's it's all a Lagrange equation. It's kind of we call nonlinear eigenvalue problem. This one here, this mu is chemical potential in physics literature, physical languages, and the mu is this one. You can see if due to this one here, so the relation mu and phi is energy is this one here. So question is, now is a given potential v, given this beta lambda and this n, is there a minimizer to this problem? Is it unique? Right? Because when you have some, some ground state, right? How to mess with how to how this this one? Well, with uh, using our new formulation, this one here, we can use it to, to prove the following theorem. If V is a confinement, this is a go to infinite far field, then we have proved that if if beta is a local interaction rate, beta greater equal zero, is repulse interaction. And a lambda, this is a different interaction rate, lambda less than equal beta, greater equal minus beta over two. Like this is a ground state phi g under this definition, minimizer of this one. And also, the positive ground state of this phi g can be written as the absolute phi g times exponential i status is a fixed constant. They have a, a space in different phase. If we choose the unit, the positive function, it is unique. And also, we can show that if beta less than equal zero, less than zero, or if beta greater equal zero, lambda bigger than beta, or lambda less than minus beta over two, there is no ground state. Let me say you can find a sequence in which L2 number is always one. But uh, when this sequence, when this n go to infinite, the, the limit go to minus infinite. So this, in this so with this new formulation, it's easy to establish this kind of theory. Then this condition is sharp. Okay, with this theory, of course, to, in order to compare experimental results, you need uh, some computation. Well, computation we're using so-called, we call a gradient flow with a discrete normalization, which is equivalent to so-called uh, a measure time method in physics literature. Well, of course, with this formulation, we can show that we can, we can the, the, have some so-called uh, proof the method converge. And also, you can say, with this uh, so-called, we call this new formulation, you know, previously you have convolution. With the computation, you need to free transform. But unfortunately, this U dipole hat C equals zero. It's no, you don't choose, we don't know which value, which is minus one plus three n dot C square over C square, all right? When C equals zero, it's minus one plus some zero over zero type. You don't know how to do it. Well, you physically you're just using, choose the U dipole, U hat, U dipole hat C equals zero, you just choose minus one. You drop a certain term. They find that no matter, how small mesh size is. The accuracy is only up to two digits. But with our new formula, with this one, you can see here's the PDE, differential equation. We can choose the proper condition. We use it, don't use the Fourier transform, because convolution only Fourier transform. With this one, we can use the, so this is a problem, use the, so the sine function, because they, they match the bottom condition, where basically let me try the only problem by zero bottom condition instead of periodic, which can, with this simple change, the accuracy can be, can be improved from two digits to seven digits. Okay, so some results, this is some results show, yes, this one is, here is a given harmonic potential, this one, and here we plot different lambda over beta. So this is lambda equal minus beta over two, this is lambda, lambda equal zero, you can see the sphere. Then this one has lambda equal beta, it's aligned along the, type of direction. Here, type of direction is fixed, zero, zero, one. Okay, so after we have this kind of so-called ground state theory and the method computation, you can come up with different ground state. With the ground state, if you want to study dynamics, you have, like, a, you basically have ground state, you want to change, like, a trapping potential, 
Oh, you change so-called uh, like uh, so-called collapse, like, change the uh, induction strength by using Fishbach resonance, whatever. The question is, you given this problem, you given initial data. So, question is, is this a problem? Is, like, is there a solution for this Cauchy pro initial value problem? And uh, it is uniqueness. Also, for example, if beta less than zero, or if lambda bigger than lambda beta, so is there some kind of blow up, fine time blow up? We know the Schrodinger equation, nonlinear Schrodinger equation with attractive interaction. If the initial energy is less than zero, mathematics prove that fine time blow up means at the time fixed time t with little t equal to capital T, the solution will go to infinite at some point. So when this happens, and so there's some existing result here using the, the other formula. Well, we can, with this new formula, we can use it to prove some local existence, and also if it's beta greater equal zero, lambda less than equal beta greater equal minus beta over two, there's a global solution exists. Solution is given, initially given, the solution exists globally. And also we can prove that if beta less than zero, or beta greater equal zero, lambda bigger than beta, or lambda less than minus beta over two. And the potential V, so this one, for example, if V equals zero, or V equals harmonic, this is always satisfied. And these two conditions, if given initial precise zero satisfies initial energy less than zero, or so this kind of condition, there we can prove that there is a finite time T finite. When little t could approach this one, the psi, the, the maximum number of psi will go to infinite. The final blow up of the solution of this the dynamic problem. Of course, you, you may ask, is this blow up mathematically or physically? But well, physics can do experiments. They, they can measure so-called the number of particles in the condensate. They find this kind of blow up is due to the mathematical model. Because the ordinary n-body problem, linear, mass consider, and consider no blow up. But here you find a, you do basically you do mean field. You replace n body problem, which is cannot solve. You do a, a nonlinear problem. But uh, this one, you, do, you ignore some kind of so that we call yin elastic interaction. Because you assume that density function is small. But uh, if the beta less than zero, the interaction is attractive. So the center will go up larger than large. So in that case, at some, some time, you need to add some other interaction. OK, so we have this theory for, 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 for this uh, dynamics. And also, we can solve this problem very different what we call a time splitting. Science pseudo special method to solve it. You solve free shredding equation, but then you solve a nonlinear ODE for fixed x. But this one, interesting is after this kind of splitting, this is nonlinear. But however, you can use to show that the density after the splitting, the density doesn't change at each time step. So you just plug this problem back into the equation, you solve a linear problem, you solve analytically. I just show you some numerical result. The first one is we have a ground state with a given potential, with a harmonic. Isotropic. And a given dipole is from 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And given the number of particles, beta and lambda, you have a ground state like this one. This is a, the, the, the error is dipole direction. And t equals 0, I let my dipole or for like an external magnetic field change. You, you will see, you can see the solution looks like very. Uh, yeah, you can see. Since here, the solution is isotropic. So my solution for, will change along the external coherence change with the external field. So like, like a high dimension soliton. This will show density function. I also show another case is, uh, I have a, this will show a density of the, density, the, the, count, the count of the density, in, but I will show is the x and z direction, because the solution is so called the cylindrical symmetric. Here I choose a ground state initially, at t equals zero, I change my, the, the interaction stress beta from positive to negative. That means the interaction from repulsive to attractive. I show some, see some collapse. You can see the solution due to the, due to the, due to so called the, the attractive interaction, the particle go to the center because the, the red value is large value. Initially, they go to the center due to the attractive interaction. But after some time, when they, the center value is too large, some kind of yin elastic interaction, which is modeled by damping term. We will take over, the, you, can, you can see this one, I'll show you again. Oh. 
because initially the particle goes to the center due to attractive direction. But at this time, the, the, the interaction is completely ignored. But at some stage, you can say the, 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 the non elastic direction term will, take, will help they, 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 they do this one. I also show one case is so called the, the, the inter, interaction of quantized vertices. Here is uh, each blot, blot is a uh, quantized vertices. When the number is one, because they form so called a rows of lattice. Because every nearby three vertices, they form a red triangle. So with this one at t equals zero, I turn on my dipole interaction. We are dipole interaction is zero zero one. You can see after some time, the 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 lattice, the quantized vertices lattices from this abrosive of lattice, they, they, they do some little change after some time, then, so due to this uh, dipole interaction, because after some time, the, all the dipole lattices, they, fall, they, they, they become parallel, which is aligned along the dipole in directions. Okay, I just skip this one. Well, with this kind of 3D simulation and some theory, we can understand this model, the, the dipole interaction, the dipole condensate in 3D very well. Of course, in experiments, this potential V is truly harmonic. With gamma x, gamma, gamma z, they are constant. But in many situations, this gamma z is much, much bigger than gamma x, and gamma y much bigger than gamma x, or this way. So, the, so say, say one, case, case, one case is called the current is a strong confined in z direction. It kind of looks like a, like a disk shape. The other way, the, the, the two directions are strong confinement. The current looks like a cigar shape. So in this situation, we, we, we hope, you can see, mainly the energy is, is, is along the one, you know, x, y plane from 3D to 2D. The hope is this model, can this model be reduced to 2D or 1D in this situation? So they are much simpler. Okay, well, when lambda equals zero, there are some lot of study, but for dipolar, there's some formal study. With this new formulation, we can use it to say, do the following. Okay. You can see we suppose this potential v decomposes the x, x y plane part and the z direction z square over two epsilon power power four z is doing this one. Then you can split the leading operator in you know, the GP equation into a uh, x y direction part plus z direction. Well, this z direction is a change of variable which is kind of one over epsilon square times this one. So basically, you can say the energy one z direction is very large, x y direction is some other one. So it's a very nice scale separation of this operator. Then you can take this ansatz, psi, equal this one. Then you plug this ansatz into the equation, into some little mathematics. You will find if epsilon goes to zero, then in the 2D part, comp component part, will follow this GP equation with a dipole, this term here. Well, this Poisson equation will be replaced by minus Laplace probe one half. So this is kind of what we call either called friction Poisson or so called they call square root of Poisson operator. But you need to understand, you know, in 3D, you have the, the, the this part of the kernel is what? Is one over four pi r, cooling interaction. We know in 3D, one over r is a fundamental solution of Green's function of minus Laplace operator. Well, in 2D, the particle is in 2D, right? The interaction is still cooling, still one over for pi r, you know, in 2D, one for pi r is not uh, the kernel of fundamental of Laplace operator, but it is this, this one. So in, one, in 2D, this one over for pi r is the fundamental solution of minus Laplace probe, one half this one. So you have this one naturally. So the energy functional, then with this one, you can define energy, you can prove some theory in two dimensions, when, under, under which primary regime there are ground state. And also you can compute the 3D solution which is uh, the, 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 the dark region, and the blue region is the 2D solution, and the pr corresponding per regime. You can see when gamma equals 1 over 10, 1 over 100, because from here to here, the different, orienta different orientation, they, 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 when, when, when gamma increases or epsilon smaller, they converge. So the 2D model give you a capture the, 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 the main result. And for dynamics, you can also prove they, they converge when epsilon goes to zero. Mathematically. Also, in one dimension, you can do a similar, similar stuff. You can end up with the following model. Because in 1D, the model looks like this one. You assume the, the, the y, x, y direction, they follow, they follow a linear part. Interesting, and here you can see in 1D, this part becomes lambda 
times one minus three n three squared because n is the the temperature is n one n two n three. You can see interest is although my three D problem is nonlinear. However, after the reduction, there is a so called when n three squared equal one third, and a beta equal zero. Lambda is nine zero. In three D is nonlinear. But you can see here when lambda equals zero, lambda nine zero. When when this one equal this one, this term disappear. They become a linear. They become a linear problem. That means there is a magic dipole angle. When, when this angle is well aligned with your confined direction, they will. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm finished very soon. The the other, other nonlinear interaction effect will disappear automatically due to this effect. Okay, and we can also prove so called some kind of so called. Uh, uh, Convergence rate existing for you one with this model, 1D model, right? For different uh, this uh, beta, lambda, and n, this epsilon epsilon is measured so called uh, the interaction rate. They can you have energy functional like this one here. Oh, oh, by the way, I want to say that in 1D, from 3D to 1D, you cannot have a limit in the kernel of this one. Because you take a limit of this one, this one is, is non integrable. That means you cannot confine the particle. Completely from 3D to 1D. You can confine the particle from 3D to 2D. Because we know it's 1 over R, 1 over R in 1D. It's, this kernel is not integrable. 2D or 3D is fine. Okay, we can do some dynamic. We can show, prove some composition. This Poseidon is the solution of the 3D problem. This little Poseidon Z is the solution of this 1D problem. And they converge linearly when F goes to 0. Okay, some conclusion. Well, here I just show some kind of um, a model, a mean field model for dipolar quantum gas for ground state, which is a, a non convex mineralization problem, method problem. We can show that the existing unix and non exist and different problem regime. And for dynamics, we can show some in three time kind of well positive and final time blow up. And some, we also design, by using a new formulation, we can design very efficient action minimizers, which can compute ground state and the dynamics very efficiently. We also show how with the confinement is anisotropic. So we can get a 1D model and a 2D model. Of course, some kind of so-called uh, ground state in 1D and 2D. Well, some future problem is, for example, if the, the, with the dipole interaction and also rotation frame. And also this kind of so-called uh, the, the dipole BC with the random potential. This V has some random effect. With the, the, the cooling down by laser has some random effect. What happens? Okay, the disorder here. I think I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Other questions? Yes. And can you go to the very beginning of your okay. PhD? Oh, okay. This one here? Uh, uh, this one? This one, this yes. one. This one? I want to I want to know the your equation. Oh, equation this one. Yeah, here. yeah, 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 here. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, oh, sorry. And here what is the relative strength of lambda uh, relative to beta? Well, this is a very good question, depending on experiments. For example, if you then this uh, the early experiment is using chromium from this one here. Lambda roughly is zero lambda over beta is like a ten percent, zero point one. But uh, for this, uh, using this, this experiment, lambda is roughly like a half of beta, same order. In, the, in this experiment, lambda over beta very, very small. Weak. Because, because this one using the magnetic to, to, to get this uh, dipole orientation. But uh, with this one using electrical dipole orientation, the same so, order. So in what condition did uh, dipole dipole interaction is uh, comparative to the uh, contact interaction. Yes. In this one, the yeah, same order. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is it possible to simulate or solve your equation by supercomputer, for example? This one? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Just, just, you have a method, you just uh, simulate. Okay, of course, uh, if you oh, want to... Uh, no, no, then the, uh, what is the idea? Maybe 
physically realized a very interesting, but、yeah. what is the major motivation you know, to use the, you, this kind of simulation method? Well, this method. Yes, instead of solving numerically, you know. You mean, you mean the model or the numerical method? The mathematical model or the numerical method? Well, that, of course, you can do different models. You can do the mean, the, the、so、you say, n body model, right? Which is very expensive to solve, but n equal like a one million or half a million, right? No way to solve it. You are people start from this mean field. This mean field model, so far, they come from the simulation and the analysis. The, the, they agree with its parameters very well, from the density, from this super fluid property, many situations. This one is very easy to solve. You, you design some good method to solve it. Yeah. And the last question. Oh. So you said you rely on a mean field description. Yes.、Uh, I'd expect for the process of condensate formation that pair correlations also play a role. I mean, do you somehow control this? I mean, you throw it away in your n body reduction to this mean field equation, right? Yeah, you have a very good question. Basically, this only model the, the situation where the temperature is almost zero or below the critical temperature. Almost most particles are condensed. Of course, if you want to study, say, from high temperature to low temperature, you need to couple in this quantum Boltzmann master equation and this GPE together. Yeah, good, very good question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Oh.